At Elemental LED, we get a lot of questions about how to do large installations. Often people want to illuminate hallways, large rooms, uh, hotels. There are safety limits on our LED strip lights. But there are ways to observe the safety limits on LED strip lights and to make the installation that you need. Now today I'm going to talk about a term called a run. That just means one continuous piece of strip that's on a power source. LED strip lights have run limits for a couple of reasons. One, you don't want to run too much power through the strip because the strip is very thin and low profile and we can do that by using a light gauge wire. The other reason we have a run limit is because at a certain distance from the power source you would get dimness, the strip would start to dim the farther away you got. And let's say we wanted to install LED strip light all along this beam. There'll be two scenarios. One is where we have one 12 volt driver and all of the power for these two strips will be coming from one driver and then we'll have another scenario where we have two smaller drivers, each one powering one spool. And then we also have 18-2 lamp wire. So this is a 200 watt driver. You hook it into 120 volt AC power and it transforms the power into 12 volt. You hook up the strip light to the first set of 12 volt lead wires. The next step with this is we take some 18-2 lamp wire and we connect that to the other set of lead wires. The lead wire for the second strip is going to run parallel to the first strip. So you just want to cut the 18-2 lamp wire and work it out so that there's a seamless continuation with the second spool. And you can continue to do parallel runs on and on and on. The only thing you have to consider after about 50 feet is voltage drop. lay it out ahead of time so that the two meet in the middle and form a continuous line. But sometimes you'll want to have strip light running around the entire perimeter of the room. You can use one 12 volt driver. The first strip could, do, could go along two walls and the other strip could go along the other two walls. Alternately, you can use smaller drivers you could have one in this corner, powering these two the strips on these two walls. And you could have another driver in the corner diagonal from this one, running the other two runs of strip light.